So what am I going to report on today? Tonaire de Zeus at Park Asterix could be facing renovation work ready for the 2021 season. Hello there guys, my name is Coach Chad Dogsterborn, but built for Theme Park News and welcome to an interesting Theme Park News update from Tonaire de Zeus, the wooden coaster over at uh, Park Asterix, the 1997 Custom Coasters International Wooden Coaster. Now before we get started, make sure you go check out our videos over the last few days. Uh, we've got some great videos online, we've got some closed footage from Blackpool Pleasure Beach, we've got news updates from Universal Epic Universe, um, and also we've got the UK Theme Park Season Review 2019, that's on the channel now as well. Um, make sure you stay tuned throughout the whole of that. I know it's a half an hour video, but make sure you watch until the very end of the video because I've got a very nice message for all of you that subscribe to the channel and all of you that have followed the channel over this first year. Over this first full year, should we say. Um, make sure you go stay tuned for our videos over the next few days and across the festive period. Obviously, Vlogmas is starting very, very soon. Uh, obviously, Cedar Point set to make the announcements in December for their 2020 season, for their 2020 rumoured water attraction, river attraction, replacing paddle wheel excursions. Obviously, we're going to get some more details on that and what that's set to entitle. Along with all that, over the festive period, I'm sure we're going to get more construction updates from Tenera Springs, the Ten Looping Coaster, the World of David Walliams, uh, plenty of construction updates to help uh, get you through those close season blues before we open the season again in March. Uh, we've got plenty of other news updates set to come over the next few days, like I said. Uh, I am thinking of doing a separate video for Thorpe Park uh, and their sort of 2020 opening dates and times. Um, and also I've got a um, couple of Halloween updates to do uh, from Chessington's Halloween 2020 dates. They've apparently been revealed, so I'll go and check them out. As well as that, uh, Universal Orlando have released the dates uh, and some information about next year's Halloween Horror Nights. That should be an interesting one to report on, so make sure you stay tuned uh, over the weekend and into next week for those updates. Obviously, the UK theme parks are going to have their Christmas events, so if you guys want information about the latest Christmas events here in the UK theme park season, I'm going to be bringing you all of that in a bumper video, just like the theme park season review 2019 that I uploaded recently, uh, the last day or two. A nice bumper video of all the Christmas events at the major UK parks uh, this year in 2019 and what information and specific details that entitles. So let's get into this news update there from Park Asterix. This is on Tonair de Zeus, like I said, the Custom Coasters International Wooden Coaster, CCI. Uh, that company, CCI, is now defunct. Uh, that is no longer an existing company for manufacturing roller coasters or anything. Um, however, there's been a... Now, it hasn't been confirmed directly by the park. However, speaking to Loopings, which is the European news source, I recommend you go and check out their news website. They're doing brilliant stuff at the minute. Um, so yeah, Loopings had it confirmed directly to them by the park, not officially out by the park, but according to Loopings, they've been told by the park that Tonair de Zeus is set to be renovated for 2021. Now we already know that that 2021 was going to be the um, opening year for the multi-launch coaster manufactured by Intamin on the same level as Soul with Dragon, Pantheon at Busch Gardens Williamsburg. However, that's now been postponed to 2022. Uh, it was originally 2022 because of what was said in the documentary when they were inspired by Taron to create this coaster. Um, so for 2021, to fill that slot between next year uh, and sort of the year of the opening of the coaster, the Intermin multi-launch, they're saying that there's going to be renovation work taking place to Tonair de Zeus. Now, Tonair de Zeus is a positive rated coaster, but there's also been a few negative reactions to the coaster recently as well. So it's got its critics, it's got its fans. So it goes either way, this news, but there's two main things rumoured. Now, the park haven't actually confirmed who's going through the makeover, I'm sure we'll get more details in the 2020 season. However, the rumour is either a GCI makeover, a Great Coast International makeover, similar to what they did with Ghost Rider at Knott's Berry Farm, or the big one from the part that's in the same company, owned by the same company as them, Compagnie des Alpes, owns Park Asterix and Wolby Holland. The other one is an RMC makeover, a Rocky Mountain Construction. Now, 
Um, the GCI makeover usually means a retrap by GCI, so all the track is retrapped by GCI to create smoother elements. They can put the new Millennium Flyer trains or the Timberliner trains uh, on the ride. An RMC makeover, however, is literally keeping the wooden structure but ripping up the wooden track and putting on steel eyebox track uh, or topper track. Or they could literally tear down the whole thing and do a fully steel coaster from scratch. That won't be the case. If, if it's an RMC, it won't be the case. Now, there's been a lot of critics towards the possibility of an RMC Tonnerre de Zeus. Uh, I'm still yet to do that ride, so I really want to get out there in Europe this year, uh, or next year, sorry, and sort of do that ride before it gets the makeover, just so I can say I've done the original. Don't think it'll happen, but, you know, it's France, you never know what could happen. Uh, <laughs> if I'm going to Park Asterix, I'll let you know. Uh, <laughs> but, with Tonnerre de Zeus, I think that GCI and RMC are the two biggest rumours at the minute, and I think that those two rumours are correct. Um, it's just a case of what do we think is going to happen more. GCI seems more realistic due to the fact that they're going to be adding this big new multi-launch in 2022. However, Compagnie des Alpes have worked with RMC before. They haven't worked with GCI to uh, redo a currently existing wooden coaster by another manufacturer. They haven't done that yet. They've only done it in the States and stuff like that. So, will Compagnie des Alpes go down the RMC route? Uh, and work with a company that they've worked with before. I mean, the success of Untamed, I think with the RMC route, it wouldn't surprise me if they went for the RMC route. As, mu as much as it wouldn't surprise me with the GCI route, just because of the multi-launch coming the year after, it wouldn't surprise me going down the RMC route, just for the fact that I know how much of a success Untamed was at Wolby Holland. That was the RMC makeover of their, of Wolby Holland's uh, wooden coaster by the coma, uh, Robin Hood. Uh, that was the makeover of that and the whole Sherwood Forest area into the wilderness themed area uh, with the new Untamed Coaster. I know that's been a big success for Wallaby Holland, so, you know, is Company Alpha's going to play it safe and go down the RMC route? Or are they going to spice things up a bit and go down the GCI route? Or are they going to get a different company into manufacture? We do not know. I don't think a different company is very likely. So, you know, I think our best guess here is looking at either GCI or RMC. Personally, I'd love it to be either. I wouldn't mind it to be either because I think either one would deliver a very brilliant ride experience. Tonya de Zeus is an incredible ride. With GCI, if you get a GCI to make over it, it would turn that ride into an even better ride. You know, some of the elements that might be a tiny little bit rougher than the others, you can smooth them out. Steeper turns. Um, with the RMC route, you could turn a great ride into an even better ride for the fans out there. So I think, whether it's GCI or whether it's RMC, either one, I think this is a good move for Park Asterix. Now, some people may say that Tonya de Zeus is already a great ride, it should be touched. That's fair enough, I've seen a lot of positive reviews from that ride. However, you've got to think the parts wanting to move forward and sort of move forward with the times. Obviously, with the defunct manufacturer, you look at Mean Street, you know, that was by a... That was by Din Corporation. That was a, a defunct manufacturer now. So I think the year of the defunct manufactured coasters may be coming to an end, obviously with Aerodynamics losing coasters like Vortex at Kings Island, um, obviously Volcano the Blast Coaster, obviously Intamin's not a defunct manufacturer, but defunct coaster types and defunct coaster manufacturers are becoming extinct by the year. Uh, again, Vortex with the manufacturer, Volcano the Blast Coaster with the type of coaster, um, so I think the Tonnerre de Zeus in terms of that type of coaster may be coming to its end of life, uh, even though it may not feel like it, even though it might not be actually the maintaining of life. May, like I said, this won't be the end of life thing. This will be like a decision where the part wants to move forward and sort of give it a new lease of life. Not that the ride's coming to the end of its life or anything. Like I said, I think this is just the part wanting to move forward in the new generation. And I think even if you get GCI to retrack it, add some Timberliner trains or Millennium Flyer trains, or if you get RMC in, rip off the track, get some iBox or Topper track on it, uh, and get some RMC inversions on there. Whatever they decide to go for, it's moving forward into the new generation. So either one, I wouldn't be sad about. So thank you very much for watching this theme park news update from Tonair de Zeus RMC or GCI Makeover. Comment down below, what do you want to see happen to Tonair de Zeus? RMC, GCI, or is there another company you can think of? Comment down below and I'll reply to your comments. 
Thank you very much for watching another Theme Park Newsroom update. That's the main thing we do on this channel, Theme Park Newsroom updates. Uh, make sure you like the video if you've loved it. Comment your thoughts and theories down below. And subscribe to the channel and click the notification bell so you never miss a YouTube video. And for now, guys, my name is Ghost Chow. Keep on the coast alive. And I'll see you guys in the next video very, very soon. Take care. Have an awesome day, my friends.